What if I told you that you can now create hundreds of shorts that will go viral on YouTube in just an hour and guess what? You don't have to spend any time editing them. Sounds crazy, right? But in 2025, AI has completely changed the game. You see, most creators, and you might be one of them, spend hours cutting up content, throwing on captions, putting in a hook, and even figuring out what kind of short form content they should actually make. But don't worry, because there's a new tool that literally does all this for you. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how you can use Nexus Clips right now to turn your long form content, your lives, or even your Twitch streams into viral YouTube Shorts content in just a few seconds. This is gonna allow you to get more views, get more subscribers, and ultimately be able to make more money from your YouTube channel. And by the end of this video, you're gonna be asking yourself why you ever did this the hard way. So here's how this actually works. You're gonna come over to nexusclips.com. And by the way, if you go to the pinned comment below, you can register for it right now. What you're going to do is you are going to connect your YouTube channel. And trust me, this is 100% safe. If you come under my connections right here, you will be able to see that you could connect your YouTube channel, you can connect your Twitch channel, you can connect for YouTube Shorts, and you can also connect for TikTok because all those things are gonna be incredibly useful. Now what you do is you click into one of your link channels or you just come over to Nexus Clips right here and you could do a few different things. For example, you could create video clips of your long form videos. All you have to do is click on Create Clipped, you're going to come over to one of your videos right here, and then you're simply just going to click on Generate Moments or click on New Moments this right here went through and identified different moments in this video that could potentially go viral. In fact, if you come over it here, you're going to see their virality index. Now, by no means does this guarantee that your video is going to go viral, but this picks out the best parts for you to actually be creating shorts content with. And now all you have to do is come over here and see if you like these parts. And let's watch this for a second and see if this will actually be good and I can see exactly what it's searching for while it's doing it, which I think makes this the most powerful deep research Awesome. So I think that this is actually amazing. What this is showing off is showing off how powerful Perplexity's deep research tool is. Now, you might not know what that means, but I know that for my audience that's going to be interested in AI content, they are going to love that. In addition, if I come over here, this goes through the introduction of the deep research feature. And again, I know that that is going to be really good. Now, all I have to do from here is literally just click generate moments. And this is going to go through and this is going to generate new moments for me if I wanted to. And you could actually choose a bunch of different things here. For example, key moments showcasing functionality, moments with strong emotional reactions, moments with detailed explanations, or I could type in here a prompt, for example, where I show off different features. And then what this is going to do, if I click generate moments, is it is going to go ahead and actually generate those for me. Otherwise, what I could do is I could literally just come up over here. I can click create clip. And this is now going to allow me to actually create this clip. And again, I could adjust the length. This right here is suggesting that I create a 30 second video, but I might not want to do that based on my YouTube analytics. Now, in order for me to actually figure out what length I should be cutting that content into, what I wanna do is I want to come over to my YouTube analytics. I wanna come into analytics. I wanna come into trends and I wanna type in deep research with perplexity. Now, what this is going to allow me to do, and by the way, I'm literally just typing in the thing that this video is going to be about. I'm gonna fix the spelling right there, and you will be able to see that deep research with perplexity has very high interest from my viewers. You need to make sure that that is there. If that isn't there, then you aren't going to get the reach that you actually want. Now, the second thing that you need to make sure that you do, when you come under what people are watching right here, you wanna click on show all, you wanna come into shorts, and you want to see how long these other shorts are. So this one, 25 seconds. This one, 41 seconds. This one, 34 seconds. This one, 22 seconds. This one, 35, 32. So Nexus Clip was actually right in telling me that I should make my video 30 seconds long because all of these videos, if we average them all out, it's about 30 seconds in length, but you always wanna double check that just to make sure that you're creating the content that's the right length because you could choose the right clip, but if it's too long, it could stop you from actually going viral on YouTube. Also, like I said, you need to make sure that this has very high interest from your viewers when you do a search for the topic that the short is going to actually be about. And as we can see here, Nexus Clips virality score was 100% right. Okay, so now that we've gone through and we actually double checked that, we're going to click next right here. And then we're just going to click edit clip right here. And this is going to allow them to create the clip and you will not believe how good this editing tool is. 
Okay, so now that that's actually done, we can actually come into this tool and we can begin editing. Now I'm going to show you how to edit with a different clip here because it's still creating that clip. But again, it just takes about a minute. So if we come in here, we could begin to watch this video right here. I'm just going to turn the sound on. And now what you can see here is you can see that there are a bunch of different things that you could do here. For example, we could add in a hook, we could add in stickers, we could add in subtitles, and we can adjust the framing here. And you can have multiple framings throughout your video. For for example, have you ever wondered how people do a split screen like this? This is how they're doing it. Or maybe a lower face cam, or maybe just full screen. This is exactly how they're doing it. And you could even do triple or quadruple if you're doing a podcast, and you could change it to be one by one or 16 by nine. But as you can see here, literally I could move this right here. And this is how people put themselves above whatever they are talking about or do all those fancy edits when they actually go to upload a YouTube short. And like I said, this will add in captions for you or the subtitles. It will also allow you to add in a really strong hook right here. Now, personally, I don't like the way that that hook looks. I don't want this tag right here. I don't want this to be this color because I don't think the white is actually that good. So what am I going to do? I'm going to come in and I'm going to change this a little bit. So I'm going to come into subtitles. I'm going to look at the text. And by the way, you could adjust certain things here. Let's say that you want to edit a word. Let's say you want to add a word. Let's say you want to delete a word. You are going to be able to do that with this tool. And if we come to styles, we can choose a bunch of different styles like this one right here. I like this better. Maybe I wanted to change this red and I wanted to make it yellow. Well, guess what? I could come in here and I can do that. And you can do all of this straight from Nexus Clips. And if you come into advanced styles, they even have other stuff that you could mess with. For example, you could blur the text. You could change the active word. You could change the passive word. You could shift the shadow here. You could change the border thickness. Let's say that you want it to look really thick. So it looks like that. You could do that or any other type of style. And then once you're done actually editing this, all you have to do is come up here, click share, and you could download it, or you could connect to YouTube or connect to TikTok and post it when it's ready. So now at this point, you know exactly how Nexus Clips works, and I wanna share with you a few other things that you need to make sure that you know about YouTube Shorts. For example, I wanna share with you the three different use cases that I would strongly suggest using Nexus Clips for because it solves several problems that you might be having on YouTube right now, and I needed to make sure that you know about the three things that your YouTube Short actually needs in it in order for you to go viral. Now, the first reason that you should be using Nexus Clips is if it takes you forever in order for you to be able to edit your YouTube Shorts. Like I shared with you earlier, you don't have to just take YouTube Shorts from a long form video or from a live. You can also just edit your YouTube Shorts and Nexus Clips, and I find that this might be the easiest way for you to actually be able to edit your Shorts because you can easily change and add captions, and they make it incredibly easy for you to make sure that your content has a hook in it. And if you're a beginner, this is going to be one of the best tools for you to be able to edit shorts incredibly quickly and then just be able to post it to YouTube. The second use case is if you're uploading long form content. If you're going live on Twitch, if you're going live on YouTube, if you are just uploading long form content onto YouTube, you need to make sure you are creating two to three shorts on the same topic of your live, of your long form content in order to get your long form content pushed out more. Why? Because the YouTube algorithm has finally updated and now the shorts algorithm and the long form algorithm are going to be connected. So in order to actually make your content get pushed for both of them, you need to make sure that you're uploading about the same topic for both and then you're making the related video on your shorts, that long form video to drive more traffic to it so that you can actually make more money from YouTube. And then finally, I would strongly suggest that you're taking these shorts clips that you're making and you're also uploading them to TikTok, to Instagram, to LinkedIn, to Facebook, to any short form platform where you can upload those vertical shorts. In fact, I wanna share with you an example of a creator that's done an amazing job doing this and it's allowed her to make millions of dollars from YouTube and gain over a million subscribers. Check this out. So a lot of people really mess this up, but this creator right here does not mess this up at all. In fact, if we come over to her YouTube channel, you'll see that she literally gets tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of views every single time that she uploads. And if we come into her channel stats, she is gaining something like 20,000 subscribers every single month. And the way that she is able to do this is because she's leveraging not just YouTube, but also other platforms. If we come over to her Instagram, and by the way, this is the right way to actually do this. If we come into the description on one of her Instagram, so on one of her Instagram posts, we will see that she's, we will see that this says no excuses, start now, free course for all these topics on my YouTube channel. Search 
Betty and business to learn, and then it tells you exactly where to start. Now, this is the right way to get people to come from Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, X, Facebook, anywhere over to YouTube. What you do not want them to do, you do not want to just put a link right here that gives them the link to your channel. That's not what you want or to your latest video. Please do not do that because what's going to happen when you do that, people are going to then see that on Instagram, they're going to click, but they aren't going to watch. And then that's going to signal to YouTube the content you're creating isn't good. Instead, you need to do what she did right here and get them to actually search for your name because that is what YouTube actually wants creators doing. And that is going to cause your content on YouTube to get pushed out more when you promote it on other platforms. Now, on top of that, you need to make sure that your YouTube shorts have three specific things because if they do not have these things, you are not going to go viral. First and foremost, you need to make sure that whatever you're uploading about is a very high interest to your regular viewers. If you don't know how to figure that out, go back in this video because I showed you how to do that under the trends tab in your analytics. You need to make sure that whatever keywords show up there are going to be in your video's title, in your video's description, and in your video's tags. In addition to that though, you need to make sure that the length of your content is going to be around the same length as those other videos that went viral for other creators within your niche. The second thing you you need to make sure of. You need to make sure you have a strong hook on the screen and you need to make sure that you have subtitles or captions because if you don't do this, you're not going to go viral on YouTube. More than 50% of people that are watching YouTube shorts don't have the sound on, so they need a strong hook, they need captions, they need subtitles in order to convince them to actually turn that on. And then finally, you need to make sure that you actually have the correct framing. You want to know why I keep having things come up on the screen here or why I was doing this video as a tutorial because it increases the amount of people that actually watch and they watch for longer. And you could do that same exact thing by using Nexus clips in order to make sure the framing in your videos is actually good so that you cannot just have yourself talking on screen, but also show what you're talking about. So what are you waiting for? Go to the pinned comment below to get started with Nexus Clips today so that you can start creating a month's worth of content in just an hour on YouTube. This is going to allow you to spend way less time creating content but it'll also allow you to get more views, more subscribers, and ultimately be able to make more money from YouTube. In addition to that, if you're still struggling on YouTube, you feel like you don't know what to post, or you feel like you're just randomly posting stuff, hoping that it goes viral, I personally wanna help you. In fact, I wanna work with you one-on-one -on -one to guarantee I can help you grow quicker on YouTube so you can finally get monetized or make more money from your YouTube channel. If that sounds interesting, well, please check out this video right here where I walk through the three different ways that we could work together because we could hop on a phone call, I could mentor you one-on-one, -on -one, or I can just audit your channel depending on your budget. I'll see you over there.